Hello hockey fans and welcome back to another video. Since the 0405 lockout, a regular season game in the National Hockey League can no longer end in a tie after three periods of play. If the score remains equal after 60 minutes, a five minute overtime period, followed by a shootout if necessary, will be used to decide the victor. In contrast, the Stanley Cup playoffs are a completely different beast, with teams having to play 20 minute overtime periods again and again for as long as it takes to break the deadlock. Though some playoff games have made it to the second, the third or even the fourth overtime period, none of them have taken as long as this one. This is the story of the longest game ever played in NHL history. In order to tell this historic tale, allow me to take you back all the way to 1936, when Jesse Owens won four gold medals at the Berlin Olympic Games, the BBC began its first public television broadcasts in London, and the Hoover Dam had just finished construction in Nevada. The NHL's 1936 Stanley Cup playoffs were well underway, with the opening round having just been completed and the playoff semi-final stage about to get started. The Detroit Red Wings, led by top scorer Marty Barry, second team all-star Ebby Goodfellow and future Hall of Famers Sid Howe and Herbie Lewis, were set to face the Montreal Maroons, led by top scorer Hooley Smith, fellow top 10 scorer Baldy Northcott, and second team all-star coach Tommy Gorman. Since both Detroit, who finished the 1935-36 season with a 23-16-8 record, and Montreal, who finished with a 22-16-10 record, sat at the top of their respective divisions, each team received a bye week during the first round of the playoffs, meaning this semi-final matchup was the first postseason action either franchise would be facing in their pursuit of a Stanley Cup championship. On March 24th, 1936, Detroit made the trip north to the Montreal Forum to face the Maroons in game one of the series. When the team arrived, the fans filled the stands, the puck was dropped, and the semi-final series got underway. As the clock ticked on, the game became a rather defensive affair, as both teams' netminders stole the show by stopping every shot they faced. Regulation time came and went, and the game remained scoreless. Since this was a playoff game, a tie was out of the question, and the match shifted to sudden death overtime. Just a single goal was all that stood in the way of taking a lead in the series or having to make a comeback. The first 20 minutes of overtime came and went, as did the second, as did the third, and the fourth, and even the fifth. It wasn't until 16 minutes and 30 seconds into the sixth overtime period that the tie would finally be broken, when Red Wings forward Heck Kilria dished the puck to rookie winger Mud Brunato, who shot it past Maroon's netminder Lorne Shabbat, to score the first and only goal of the game and give Detroit a 1-0 series lead. In total, this semi-final match lasted 176 minutes and 30 seconds of on-ice play. For context, the puck was dropped for the opening face-off at 8.30pm and the deciding goal was scored 5 hours and 55 minutes later at 2.25 the next morning. In doing so, this match set the record for the longest game ever played in both NHL history and professional hockey as a whole, only recently surpassed in 2017 by a Norwegian League playoff game, which lasted just over 217 minutes of game time. Following this lengthy showdown, Detroit would go on to take the series with a three-game sweep of the Maroons, earned their place in the Stanley Cup Finals, where they would defeat the Toronto Maple Leafs in four games to clinch the 1936 Stanley Cup, the first championship of the franchise's history. The Maroons, however, would have a much tougher time. Following their exit from the playoffs at the hands of the Red Wings, 
Montreal would play just two more seasons in the NHL before suspending play due to financial complications caused by the Great Depression. After several attempts to revive the franchise, the Maroons ceased operations for the final time in 1947. Here's a fun fact for you though, since the Maroons exit from the league, no other NHL franchise that has gone on to win the Stanley Cup has either folded or relocated in the years after their win. You learn something new every day, eh folks? Though it wasn't the game that decided the series or the cup-clinching game of the playoffs, this seemingly routine match between the Detroit Red Wings and the Montreal Maroons ended up setting a record that took over 81 years to break worldwide and still stands in National Hockey League history to this day. Whilst these two opponents went on to move in vastly different directions, their performance that night in 1936 earned its place in the hockey history books and has certainly stood the test of time. And that's the story of the longest game ever played in NHL history. What do you guys think about this match? Was it good? Bad? Or do you need to lie down just thinking about how long this game went on? I know I do and I've only just been sitting in the chair recording the bloody video. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. A big thank you to Chris Gadsby, Connor B, Paul Malia, Jordan Whitehead and Martin Tolnus, as well as a huge thank you to Max Artis for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further and get a shout out at the end of every future video, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.